Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look into how we can add custom fields into our products uh, of Shopify. So before we talked about how to use the implementations and video into our products. And as you can see, this is how it's going to be looking uh, one video, another one. But in today's tutorial, let's see how we can add custom fields. So what exactly is a field of a product? So we're speaking about this product, this example, we do have these Nike sneakers and I do have the title, I do have the price, the quantity and the sell out, buy it now and the description. So all of those elements are actual fields. If I wanted to customize these fields, I needed to do this outside the editor mode. So this is just an example of the view side. So this one actually does not work for me. And then later on, I wanted to focus into the product that I want to actually start with the actual custom field. So the very first thing you wanted to do is to go directly into your Shopify, go into online store and hit into online store. You want to focus into your actual uh, website, your current website. So uh, after that, you want to open the editor mode. So the editor mode is now open here. I focused into my template. I click into the product that I want to edit. And now as you can see, here are the different blocks that I can add. I have the quantity section, it says add block. And I have the product information here. So as you can see, I can add a new block. For example, I can add a pop-up or an inventory status. Let's say for example that I add this inventory, show the out of stock. So this one, I'm going to be putting this one a little bit down here below the price. Sold out, out of stock. And then I'm going to add a new section, a new block actually. And let's say that I wanted to add a new pop-up. So the pop-up uh, text, I'm going to scroll it here, the quantity selector. In here, I wanted to go for um, linked label. Let's go for subscribe. And here into select page, I wanted to create an actual new page or to go directly into the contact version. So this one is going to be taking me into the contact. So uh, now, what I want to do is to add some meta fields so we can add this a little bit more in advanced tools. So leave this like that, hit into save of course, focused into settings. And here in settings, into the web pod, as you can see, we have a lot of fields. So what I wanted to do is to look out for the custom data. So here into the custom data, I do have the meta fields. Here into the data fields, I wanted to focus into the actual meta field that I wanted to add, for example, the product. So here into the product metadata field definitions, I wanted to go into add definition. And here's my name, the namespace and key, and the description. And here I'm going to type, let's say name, and I want to go for Q and A. And as you can see here, I have international standard book number, for example, if you wanted to at that you can click them and I have this product meta field definition so I hit now into save and here is some product meta definition added so I have the single line text content type single line text use it into your products I'm gonna add this later but first of all I'm gonna add a new definition first so I have the name once again and if I type let's say for example just the price section it's going to be taking me into related products, search product boost, complementary products, trade item description. Let's go into related products and store fronts. Hit into save and the meta field definition has been added automatically. So now I'm going to hit back. The variance, the collection, the customers, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to go here once again. I'm going to reload the page now. And now, as you can see, uh, uh, here into the pod of the product, as you can see here, we have the product information. So what I want to do is to hit a little bit back, just focus into the template of my product. And here, I want to type to add an actual new, new block. So here I have the pop-up, the collectible, the SKU, so let's focus into the meta field that we have just added. Now, what I want to do is to go back into my products inside the dashboard of Shopify. Here I have my product. And first of all, I'm going to click them. And what I want to do is to start by editing my product. First of all, what I want to do is to 
um, I don't want to feel like this one is not uh, added. And what I did here is to add a new product. So I can add this product into the related product of the meta field that I added here into this LeBron Nike. So let's go here once again into the product. And if I scroll all the way down, we're going to be seeing our new meta fields. So I can go into show all. And here is my depth, my meta field. So here into the pen, I have two out of 20. So now I'm going to be focusing into the ISBN fee file. I'm here you're going to add my international standard book is 65, 80, 75, 1, 2, 3, 98. So then here into the related products, I want to go into the select my products and I want to choose the second one and hit into add. Now, as you can see, we have now this go to the definition, list related products, Shopify web, go to definition. So I'm going to just leave it like that, hit into save. And let's see if the meta field is actually working with my product. So let's go back here. I'm going to reload the page after I saved it, of course. And now I want to make sure that I have my product here. Subscribe to learn more about, sold out. This is just a description. I scroll a little bit down. And then what I want to do is to view this like that. I click into the product that I wanted to see. And if I scroll a little bit down, I should see that my meta field is now being added here. In my case, I believe it's not appearing. So I'm going to go back now. And just in case that you find this, the same thing. Now, as you can see, you have the heading section. You may also like, you wanted to insert the actual link of the product that you wanted to see. So you may also like, I'm going to type the two dots. And here I want to go here, it says insert dynamic source. And here I can add a title or I can add a meta field. And this one is going to be taking us once again to the meta fields of Shopify. So I can add a new product or a new variant to the collection. So you can add the collection here. I'm going to add the definition name. Let's say collection number one, the description. This is my first collection. So now, as you can see, if I scroll a little bit down, I see that you may also like and I have the related product. So I uh, here now this product, I think that I wanted to do now is to make this a little bit more smaller because I think it actually is looking like too, uh, too big. So what I want to do now is to go back into my editor here. Let's go into the online store. Once again, let's focus into customize. And here, once I scroll all the way down, until I find the feature product, which in my case is this one or this one actually. And now what I want to do is to focus into my new related products here. Instead of choosing the headline side, let's go for something smaller like this. So the maximum product to show it's only two. The number of columns on desktop is going to only one. And I want to just delete the related products title. And I want to just focus into you may also like show the secondary Im image and hover course and just one column and the top padding should be a little bit more let's say 16 by 16. There we go. So as you can see it actually looked great and here's the actual name, the price, and the button door which in our case is ourselves. So what is left to be done is just to hit into save and what I want to do is to use exactly the same thing into the meta field of my actual product. If I click into this product and I scroll down, I want to use exactly the same thing, right? So I can go back here into save. I go into the three dots, go into the view and make sure that my products are now being listed correctly. So let's click the, as you can see, here's the variant price out of stock, the quantity, subscribe to learn more about your product sold out. This is a meta field that we added before. And down here we have the, you may also like, and here's our product. So I click that just to make sure that this one is actually working. And this one took us into the secondary product. So I didn't add the related product in this actual section yet, but I can do this later on. And the same meta field of subscribe to learn more about your product is here. This one should take me, take me into the contact uh, form of our company. So it says contact and I just needed to add the meta fields once again. So as you can see, guys, it's actually working the bit of fields of our Shopify store. 
Um, hopefully this was very useful video for you. I can totally suggest you to add the custom stuff. The first thing you need to do before you add meta fields is to fill as much information as you can about your products or about your blogs or the pages you want to do out into Shopify in order to correctly add this uh, really, really easy. So with that being said, guys, I think we've now covered the basics. You now how to, you now know how to add meta fields into Shopify. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more amazing tools about the Shopify, meta fields, and much more elements and tools. Thank you for watching the video once again, guys. See you next time.